Wildcats. I'm Alex Hooten. And I'm Anthony Gardner. And you are watching Cat's Eye News. Thanksgiving break is in two days. Remember, Wednesday through Friday this week, we do not have classes. Before going on break, here are a few important announcements for this week. Key Club is having a donation drive until tomorrow. They are looking for things to donate to children at Raleigh's Hospital, such as coloring books, coloring supplies, small unopened toys, wrapping paper, nail polish, Disney items, and chapsticks. Donations can be dropped off to room 107 or room 226. After school tutoring continues every Wednesday after school in the media center from 4 to 5 p.m. AP students, registration for the AP exams in the spring is now open. Open the AP registration links for the full details and directions to sign up for and pay for the exams. If you have questions, ask Ms. Coker. Thank you. Speaking of Thanksgiving, Thursday is Thanksgiving. Let's check out what some LN students say about the upcoming holiday. Jayla. And Jayla, what are you thankful for? For my baby sister. That's it? Because she brings happiness at me. That's exactly what you, what are you thankful for? Uh, just the opportunities that Orange North provides for you to be able to be educated and come here, go to school. All right, I'm here with? Kayla. Okay, and for today is, what is what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my parents for being able to go to this school. Okay. Thanks for that segment. Moving on to some sports information. Girls, track and field winter condition starts Monday, November 29th. They will also condition Wednesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. sharp. Anyone is welcome, but, the, but be sure to have a current physical on file in the athletic office, or you will not be able to participate in conditioning after Thanksgiving break. Girls basketball travels to Avon High School tomorrow. JV starts at 6 p.m. and varsity plays at 7.30 p.m. Wrestlers are also in action Tuesday against Warren Central at 6 p.m. here. And, and boys, basketball travels to Noblesville on Wednesday. JV starts at 6 p.m. followed by varsity. Now on to the weather. I'm Anthony Gardner and here's the weather for Cat's Eye. Today's weather, it'll be a high of 37 degrees and a low of 22. And it'll be, it'll be you know, around 84% humidity. It will be raining. Before school on Friday, it'll be, a, um, it'll be around 37 degrees and the humidity will be around 85%, meaning it will be raining. And after school on Friday, the temperature will drop to about 33 degrees and the humidity will be about 51%, you know, 51% but it'll still be raining. Um, Monday and Tuesday, Monday, it'll be partly, partly cloudy, and the high, it'll be a high of 37 degrees and a low of 22. Tuesday will be a high of 36 degrees with a low of 27, but it will be mostly sunny. Wednesday through Sunday. Now, this is when I will recommend you wear a coat or a sweater or something to you know, keep warm because it'll be mostly cloudy, and it'll be in the 40s, the, the, the late 30s to you know, early 40s. It'll be very cold and you know very cloudy some on friday and saturday it'll even snow and then on saturday it'll turn to rain so i suggest that you keep covered up i want you guys to have a happy thanksgiving from cat's eye to lawrence north i hope you guys eat well you know share some of that macaroni if you even can make me a play anthony gardner you know uh have a wonderful break and go cats welcome back that's all we have for you today. Hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. To conclude the end of today's episode, remember to keep your mask up, hats off, and be ready to learn. Have, have a, a great, great day, day and, and go, go Cats! cats.